Hi, it's Adrian. How are you today? And so I'm back with the new ColourPop Holiday palette, and I think that's way cool. And so I guess we'll go ahead and get started with what I have on here. I did go ahead and start or start with the Maybelline uh, Super Stay C Plus, and I have mine in shade 102. Went ahead and added in the Liquid Lights by ColourPop, and so I have that one on there as well, and the Milani in the 110. And so this is. These are the bronzing drops. They're the lightest shade. They go really golden. And so I mixed all of these together to go ahead and uh, get my base today. And then what I did as far as my bronzer, I used the NYX Buttermilk and all buttered up. And so that's what I went ahead and did there. It has a little bit more red than some of their other shades do. And I used the ColourPop, and this one is in Thanks. And so this is uh, the blush, and it's a liquid blush that I went ahead and used. Getting into the new stuff, um, ColourPop is coming out with a Frosty the Snowman palette, and it is Frosty uh, that you see in the cartoon that's showed every year for uh, the holidays. And so, yeah, it's actual Frosty. And I don't know if you remember me saying, and I've said this in like four different videos, that I was going to go ahead and use this Super Shock. It's Flexitarian by uh, ColourPop, and it's actually one of the highlighters. And I was going to go ahead and use it all the way up. And I think I have accomplished my task at this point. So, Frosty the Snowman had uh, some of the uh, Super Shock highlighters with them, and that's what I went ahead and got to go ahead and replace what I have. Uh, this one is called Winter Wonder, and I put that one onto this cheek over here. So it's on this cheek, and uh, this one does go really icy. Uh, it goes really, really icy. I also have Winter Wonder on here, here, and here. So, um, yeah, and it is a very icy highlight, very pretty. Uh, the other one is called Icicle Spree, and that one has more of pink, purple, and orange in it. So, yeah, that's the way that this one, and it's swirled, so everybody gets a different amount of the actual colors in there. And um, I have that one on this cheek over here, and it definitely goes more pink. So it has uh, more of a pink kind of base to it. And so these were available as, you know, uh, well, here's the packaging. It's really cute. It's called uh, Welcome to the North Pole. And yes, I, I really wanted to get into that packaging, so I kind of destroyed it. But um, so this is uh, one of the extras that you can get to go with the palette. Or if you want to buy the whole PR set, you can do that too. And um, let's see, what else do I have on? And um, I do have the Essence Make Me Brow. I did go ahead and use that one. And um, as far as mascara, I did go ahead and use the Panorama. And this one's by L'Oreal. As far as Frosty goes, Frosty is a really beautiful palette and it seems to be right in line with all the holiday palettes that are coming out so far. Huda's come out with an icy new icy palette. Um, so yeah, I think it's really pretty and there are definitely some duochromes in here. Um, let's see. So this one is a duochrome. It's actually probably a multi-chrome. So this one and this one definitely are multi-chrome. So is this one. Um, as far as the shades that are going to be the uh, glitter, but they do their glitter formula new now so that you don't have to use a glitter glue with it. And those shades are going to be this shade right here and this shade right here. I did go ahead and get some swatches. So this one here. Okay, so these are the swatches. It is a very icy palette. It is a very light palette, um, but it definitely can be built up. And um, yeah, these are the, I think the last three shades in the palette. And then like I said, this is going to be swatches 
of all the shades and very very pretty as far as what I did for the I love today um, I did go ahead and use this very pretty turquoise and I used that in the crease on the outer corner I went ahead and used the blue um, let's see right under the brow I went ahead and used one of the multi-chromes this is what I put on the um, inner part of the lid and then on the outer part of the lid I did go ahead and put this color as far as my eyeliner it's going to be this color right here and um, I did go ahead and use this as my inner corner from here to here so a uh, really pretty palette I mean I really didn't expect to go ahead and have this many specialty shades and these this many really fun sparkly shades and so yeah it's a really good palette here's the way that the eye look came out so um yeah i think it came out really pretty and icy and very much wintry kind of look as far as what i went ahead and did for the lips today i think that's the only thing i haven't covered used a go-go by ColourPop and then I went ahead and used Metaglow uh, from Essence on top of that as far as the lip look so that's what I got going on there and another wonderful thing about having these icy colors is that you can do a really light look with them and that's fun you can also um, go ahead and mix these with a whole bunch of uh, different bases so um, you don't need to stick to just uh, one tone with a lot of palettes I find that I'm either um, as far as uh, blush and everything I'm either going like with a really a pink mauve uh, blush is the only thing that I can use on some palettes or it's the only thing that I think looks good or it's more of a peachy sort of um, cheek and so with this one I'm with this one and the colors being so light you can probably go with either and really make them work and so yeah they're they're just plain fun there's also a lot of colors that you could definitely do for work um, definitely something like this or uh, this one here um, would definitely go ahead and so you could definitely go ahead and use it for both uh, work and fun and so um, yeah I just thought that it was really pretty and I think some of these glitters um, I haven't really had a chance to play with them yet but from what I can see they're gonna be you know appropriate for work and that sort of thing so um, that's the way that uh, the whole look turned out and I'm really glad that I did go ahead and pick them up um, I also, in that same order, I did pick up the ColourPop Stranger Things, the monster. And these are actually the two shades that are made from the ColourPop Multichrome formulas. And so I thought I would go ahead and do some swatches because if you did pick these up, these are going to go really well with uh, this particular palette as well and um, these are like I said they're in one of those packets that you can get to go along with the pa palette one of the add-ons and so here's the blue and um, like I said it is a duochrome uh, this one goes it's a purple to a blue duochrome. And let's see if we can build it up a little bit. Uh, they are liquid shadows. I haven't had any problem with them. Um, I like this formula. Uh, some of the other formulas don't work as nicely as this one does, but I think it's really pretty. So there's the blue. And then as far as the pink, the pink uh, shifts to green. It's really pretty as well. Uh, this one I think has more glitter in it than the other one did. And so this way that that one turned out. 
So we've got the uh, green and pink one over here, and then the blue and purple one over here. And they do have a really pretty finish, and they're a lot of fun. Um, would go really, really well with this palette. So if you did, go ahead and pick these up. Definitely, you could do some really fun looks here. And other than that, that's my haul. And I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.